Hey, hey. Welcome, everybody. I'm just realizing how terrible of a place I just put my microphone. You know what? It's cool. This is the surge. And for anybody who doesn't know, um, this is from the developers of Lords of the Fallen, which was uh, a game that was a little bit too close to Dark Souls. Uh, another company other than From Software tried to make a Dark Souls game, and it was a bit too close for comfort, and uh, it made it a little bit too easy to compare them. It had some cool ideas, but... Um, when you compared it to Dark Souls, it just wasn't as good, so people didn't like it as much, and it kind of just went under the radar. Uh, this, on the other hand, is a Dark Souls-like game in the same genre, while being set in the future, being set in 2065 or something like that, and uh, you, uh, through you know, uh, an intro I don't want to spoil for you, you kind of land yourself into this messed up situation where a shared neural link that everyone has implanted in their brain freaked out and messed people up. And, uh, and when the servers went down and rebooted, uh, it sent a jolt in everyone who is there who had this neural link. And uh, some people are still alive, they're still walking around, they're still okay. But the majority of people, it drove them insane, or it killed them, or uh, they're, they're essentially zombies. But that alone is a problem, right? But they're also inside of these exosuits that make them super strong and super agile. And they have all of these like weapons and tools that make them highly dangerous. So uh, this is the equivalent of a bonfire that you would find. This is a med bay. Uh, you can come here and uh, upgrade your 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 core, which allows you to put on these implants that that augment your abilities. These are like injectables that that can heal you. We've got uh, we've got different different equipment that have uh, core requirements because it, it they're powered by your 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 rig. We've got uh, a crap ton of different weapons that are all really interesting and cool and different. You've got a drone that can uh, attack people, knock them down, can shoot them from far away, can can uh, put this like um, kind of air gel in the air that slows people down. Um, it, there's a lot of really cool ideas here. Um, and I'm just gonna start playing and you can kind of see what this is all about. But uh, so far it's it's been pretty cool. I'm, I'm pretty, uh, it's it's not the best game in the world, but it's please remember it's safety at work is our highest priority and it should be yours. But here Good we'll show see you a little bit of the combat. I really I really dig the combat. So as you can see, you can lock on, and then you can target different parts of the body. Right? All the yellow sections have armor on them, and all the blue sections don't have armor on them. If you hit a blue section, it does way more damage. And you stun the person usually. You can kill them much faster. But why would you not want to do that? You would attack an armored section because if you can do enough damage and build up your energy meter, which you do by attacking, uh, then you can do uh, an execution attack. And if you have done enough damage to the limb that you're targeting, you do an execution attack, then you remove that limb. And you get whatever piece of armor is there. You take that back to the med bay, can break that armor down and use that to upgrade your own armor so it makes combat more than just hacking and slashing there's some stuff going on. and the same with dark souls every enemy is dangerous if i were to not pay attention if i were to yeah i just cut the guy's arm off he didn't have anything there but he was holding a weapon so now i can pick up some some, uh, some stuff from his uh, his weapon that he dropped. Uh, every enemy can kill me. Every enemy is dangerous. Every enemy is something that I need to worry about. Uh, it's cool. They don't. They have elevators, but also instead of ladders, they have these. Because with your exosuit on and all your armor, you weigh a shit ton. You weigh 
probably like a thousand pounds. So going up a ladder would be impossible. Uh, so they have these cool little, little lifts that I think are pretty awesome. Um, I am just after the third boss. And so far, it's been pretty freaking cool. Um, it's, it's satisfying all of the itches that I have for a Dark, Soul game, Dark Souls game while still providing some interesting stuff. Uh, so right now, I'm going up to this weird thing up here. As you can see, it's, it looks like a conveyor belt. I'm kind of worried. I'm probably going to die a whole bunch of trying to figure out how to get there. But that's, that's what these games are. You know, you make progress to a certain point. You open up shortcuts. You fight some enemies. <clears throat> you drop all of your, all of your salvage. And uh, oh, that's another wrinkle that they add to it. You have a, a time limit to get your salvage, and it's about two and a half minutes. And you may think to yourself, "Well, what if it's really, really far away?" Every single time you kill an enemy, it adds more time onto the clock. So you're, you're actually encouraged to not just sprint past stuff. You know, you want to fight a little bit. Oh, this is a boss. Oh no, this is for sure a boss. Wow, I didn't want to start the stream with a boss. Um, I don't know. Uh, chat, what do you think? Should I just start this with a boss fight, which is going to be a whole bunch of me dying and figuring out how to beat this boss? Or do you want me to just kind of run around and show you what this game has to offer? Because I can go through some of the areas I've already been through and just show you the crazy stuff that this game has. Just give me a shout out with what you think. I also might be turning on my camera here soon because I've got both of the dogs in here, my, uh, my little puppies, and uh, everyone likes cute animals, so I might just put them on camera. Well, if uh, y'all are too shy to let me know what you think, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna try this boss, I guess. Yeah, that went about as how much I thought. It was about about right. Luckily, I'm not that far, because um, I opened up a bunch of shortcuts. So let's go back over there. Come back anytime. As you can see, I just had a little bit of scrap on me. There's 180 on the ground where I died. Uh, not that far though, so I'm just gonna run over there. I've never fought this boss before. I wish I had played a little bit ahead of time so I at least knew what was happening. The funny thing is, is uh, around Dark Souls, there's a huge community. You know, there's a lot of people who love those games and they play them. And, uh, and when a game first comes out, um, I had the wonderful experience with Dark Souls 3 and both Bloodborne of being able to sit down right when it started and say to myself, all right, let's figure this out. And then uh, when I was having trouble going on to online forums and and, and looking for answers um, to lore questions and to where to go next, because you know no one had ever really played the game before. And then um, while being on there, seeing other people have problems that I had figured out the answers to and uh, providing feedback there, uh, there was this really nice uh, kind of playground mentality of just talking about the game in a way that uh as people have said before that we used to when we were younger when we were kids you know pre-internet but instead doing that same activity on the internet uh and and the same cannot be said for dark souls likes uh the the information on this game is pretty scattered uh there are a couple people uh with youtube channels that are kind of chronicling this game that have been really good resources 
And uh, if anything, anybody's interested, I can I can provide some some links at the end of the show. But uh, uh, I could just go online and kind of do some searches and be like, hey, what's going on with this game? But I think right now I'm just gonna try and not die. did some decent damage. A little bit of a chunk off that bar when I hit him. Uh, most enemies so far that uh, I fought, I think, three bosses so far. Most of the enemies in this game uh, look out the for your fellow workers. Kind of multi they look out for where you. They're giant robots. That, uh, see what I mean? Look at that. I, oh, nearly my whole bar just went down from that one hit. Lockdown in effect. Uh, so, most of the, the bosses have been uh, the type of thing where uh, you have to incapacitate it in some way, um, knocking off limbs or just just downing it and then do some damage and then it would get back up. Uh, almost almost uh, like a Zelda style boss of, of uh, doing patterns of things in order to uh, slowly take away at the, uh, the health of the boss, but um, it looks like there I'm just going to be able to do some damage to it. It doesn't look like I can get to the main body at all, so there's no real way for me to get around to it. So, yeah, it looks like I'm just going to have to get in there and... As you can see, it's not, what's the right word for it? It's not impossible. It's just a simple matter of, I need to learn the timing windows, which I just said right there. I need to learn timing windows. I need Take to learn care. Attacks. I need to learn tells. These are all hallmarks of, of, uh, of Dark Souls. And this, this game uses the same ideas and uh, does a really good job of it while while being very different you know this you could have the same exact design here and have some giant weird monster tree which i've seen in multiple dark souls games but instead i'm dealing with mechanized insane deranged uh robotic creatures that are uh for some reason trying to kill anything that comes close to them I think this game has a really cool design sense. Um, I look like a straight freaking mech dude. I, you know, I've got all these really interesting weapons. Uh, I think, I think overall, this is a pretty cool little package.
So phase, that was phase one. Dealing with those two arms. And then it looks like I have four arms with fire after that. Hmm. Okay. Have a nice day, Warren. See? Just learning it bit by bit. And the, the trick is to get through that first that first uh, first phase without without losing any health. Without I mean that would be the best condition, but I mean without using too much of my healing items. So did not bad then. I used a little bit more than I wanted to. Uh, the camera went a little crazy there at the end. I lost track of the other one. in there and see this is this is why I didn't want to start the stream with uh, with a boss fight because it is just gonna be, be careful very out there I'm gonna keep on having these fights like this until I figure it out and I, uh, kick its butt. one of the great things about this game and uh, and you know by extension, the Dark Souls games is exploration of spaces. Uh, none of the Dark Souls games have really ever had a map, and this one doesn't either. But I could walk from, from toe to the, the head of this entire facility so far, uh, at least from where I've been, and get around no problem. And learning environments like that is really rewarding. I really feel like I know the place. Ginger. Come here. Wanna? I just set up a bed for me. Oh, yeah, she's happy now.
one of those arms down. The other one got me from the back. All right, I might need to change my setup. implants. I don't need the proximity sweeper anymore. I think I'm going to put on this. Okay, so what that does when I get close to health, this is automatically going to, when I'm close to dying, this is automatically going to kick in and heal me now. It's a very slow heal, so it's not going to save my life in a bad situation if I'm being dumb. But uh, it'll, it'll help me just enough. That should be good. See how that works. The other thing, Be careful I don't out know there. if you heard it, but there's been a few times where uh, there's like a little chime that will go off. Uh, it's, it, uh, it's an item that makes it so when I'm near nearby something in the environment that I can pick up, uh, whether that be some scrap or, um, or you know just something in the environment, um, it'll it'll give me a little beep and get stronger as I get closer. So, uh, I'm doing a boss fight right now. I don't need that. But I did really well with that first... That first half. That first uh, section. Um, I only had to heal one time. Do it again. the feeling that I want to clear out the left side but I'm having trouble hey goldfish what's going on I am tackling this boss fight uh, trying to beat it never please fought, remember safety at before, work so, uh, is our highest priority and should be yours Just my shit right there you can have and you can have you see what I mean even a, a normal regular dude that I've killed a hundred times or more uh, just got me and uh, that is one of the few things that I have a problem with in this game is some of the enemies attacks uh, Happy just to help. lock on to you and just see, like, look he, he did that attack but completely turned around when I ran by some bullshit. Um, I'm running a different direction. I don't believe that it should it should home on me like that. Yeah, it's kind of gone under the radar. Uh, it's I think it's pretty great. Um, but I really, really love the Dark Souls games. 
and uh, pretty much everything recent that From Software has put out, and this is much in that same vein. They really dropped the ball the, uh, on the last one. Lords of the Fallen was not that good, and um, with its kind of heavy metal medieval look, uh, it left a bunch to be desired, but uh, by making a futuristic sci-fi version of that type of game, they are really kind of doing their own thing. They do really well their ideas about cutting off limbs and stuff, which were in Lords of the Fallen. They just there's no real reason to do it. It really makes more sense. Got all the same system. I mean, it does its own thing. It does its own thing with Other than that, I like the premise of the game. I like storytelling. I like character design and weapon design. Um, I'm digging the combat. Happy to help. Uh, I don't really have that many complaints other than sometimes, you know, stuff feels cheap. Uh, that's one of the great things about the Dark Souls series is there's difficulty without cheap never feel like whenever you die you feel like oh it's because I screwed up it's because I made a mistake and the game is punishing me for it uh, not in a in a spiteful way but in a no you screwed up you're better than this learn it and you'll do well uh, so far uh, there there's been a great deal of that here but every once in a while like I'm getting with the camera freaking out in this first section of the boss fight and with that second section, with all of those arms, I mean, I don't really know what to do there. So far, I've taken out one of one of the arms on the left side and then the other one just kind of KOs me real quick. I'm not sure why. Again, I think the main problem is the camera. Like, I don't... I can barely see what's happening there. I can't get a good look on the blowtorch thing Come that I'm fighting. Anytime. I can't really tell when it's attacking me. Like, camera makes or breaks. Really makes or breaks a game like this. And the way they designed that section of the boss fight... And if I can't see what's happening, then I can't do anything. Maybe, maybe I'll build up my meter and try and slow down that second, second thing. 
The camera like gets stuck in the fencing behind me, which is really weird. I'd rather have, I don't know, no fencing on the platform. Now, then I'll be able to see better. Then I might be able to fall off. I don't know, maybe railing like this? Like I don't, I can't, I can't see. And if I can't see, then I'm gonna get hit by what I do. Let's see if I can slow it down. Cause my drone has all these really cool abilities. So I'm gonna try. Two different fire effects on me. <sighs> All right, I need to check my gear. See if there's something else I can wear. We'll deal with that. Mental defense five. That's that. But that sucks. See if that helps. It'll help me with the fire damage later. Be careful out there. Like, you're hearing me being frustrated with this boss fight. That's kind of the cycle of all boss fights in Souls-like Souls -like games. Um, you, you figure them out. You, as you can tell, I'm almost never getting hit in that first the first phase. And then, um, and then the second phase, I just need to figure out how to fight those things. The problem is is kind of surrounded by four of them at once. And can't see well because the camera's real bad. And uh, that's kind of the death nail here. It's kind of source of my frustration but hopefully by switching to this different exosuit um that fire damage won't be so much of a problem but we're gonna find out
three hits and just pop. All right. Oh, okay, so I got three of the arms down. Happy to help. I don't know how much better I feel about it. Yeah, I just got a piece of his headgear. Um, it's damaged, but I can take it back to the med bay, uh, to the engineering section, and set that up and use it to upgrade stuff. Wait a minute, don't I have a head? Just less. <clears throat> I don't know, I'm... I'm s I don't know if it actually does better. I don't know. We'll try one more with this suit on, but I think the other one's actually better. So, the game started out with, sorry, hold on a sec. Oh, I finally got to that last stage. Um, so far, the game started off with a... Uh, it's it's never been just like a dude in a suit. The the people you fight in the exosuits are just kind of uh, around in the environment. The bosses have always been really big robots. The first one was almost like a small Metal Gear looking thing, um, and had two blades that would come in and attack you. And uh, yeah, it was bipedal. Um, 
The second one was... I guess I've, I guess this is the third boss I'm fighting. I thought it was, I thought this was the fourth, but the second one was this uh, kind of like a spider-looking thing, but it had jet engines, so it could fly, and um, it would kind of walk around on the legs, and you'd have to take out the legs, and then it would fly around, and you'd have to fight the little robot thing that was underneath. And then the third one is this. They've all been wildly different. They've all been very different. And um, had very different patterns. Please remember, way you safety them. at work is our highest priority and should be yours. Uh, but I, I'm really digging the design. It's just uh, the levels of complication. And so far, you know, the thing that has been killing me the most out of anything is the camera. And it, it's because. When I'm not in these open areas like this, I'm in corridors. And these corridors, if I had to fight here, look at this. Look at the way the camera comes in. Like, it's just not good. And that's what's been happening with uh, the second half of this boss fight. Um, the second phase, really, uh, is I get in close with those firearms. And they're, they're doing some nasty damage to me. I keep forgetting to use my drone. I'm gonna try and use my drone on the second, the second, third phase. So I'm gonna stick to the one where it shoots the monster. Right, I'm gonna have a quick bathroom break. Break. I'll be right back.
All right. That was a bad one. Let's get back in there. Be careful out there. Look at the camera. I when I when I disengaged from him, the camera had to swing all the way back. Stuff like that gets you killed. trying to single them out. I mean, I did it last time, and then I got down to the main guy and just got wrecked. Take care. Tell some of the some of the tracking with the enemies is some bullshit because they're they're guys that have like a weapon on each hand and uh, they'll run at you and then when they get close enough they'll jump and do like a, a swing attack with both hands. And if you move to the side, somehow change direction. My bad, I didn't dodge. How many drop frames? I don't understand what's happening. I said I went offline for a second. Sorry about that. Happy to help. What's going on? It really feels like those fire guys aren't really... Their damage is not being diminished. I almost walked off the edge. It feels like their damage is not being diminished that much by this suit. And it does... doesn't do as good here. Or, uh, defense. It doesn't have as high as defense.
bar. Please remember, safety at work is our highest priority, and should be yours. I don't understand what's happening there. Like, I guess I'm supposed Take to be in the column. Dodge that last, that last set. I don't know how the laser hit me. I don't know. And took off seventy five percent of my health. I should be. I mean, I don't even know. Should I be grinding? Look Pretty out cool. for your fellow oh, workers. They look out I for you. Up my current weapon anymore. Maybe I should just try a different weapon. I think that's too slow. I guess this maybe. 
Try this. I don't really feel like the firebugs would do a lot though, so let's find out. Later, goldfish. Thanks for hanging out, man. Sorry, it's just me dying over and over again, but yeah, this is this is the surge. Um, hopefully, I can get past this so I can show more of the game. Have a great weekend. I wasn't even way near that. Alright, well, I feel like I have more mobility with the fire bug, so I guess I'll keep using it for now. Have a nice day, Warren. Really sucks being damaged right at the beginning of the boss fight. I feel like that's really kind of a shitty. Okay, oh, you're kind of hurt. That sucks.
no joke, the fact that the camera just keeps spinning is insane. This is like the worst design boss fight I've ever played in this game. Like, this is terrible. This is a terrible design decision. The way that camera moves. Be careful oh, out there. I'm not spinning that camera. That camera is just spinning. I guess I just shouldn't lock on, maybe? Should I just not lock on in that second fight? But that sounds bad, too. That sounds like... Sounds terrible. I know it's hard to test games like this for focus testing because you do want to keep that level of difficulty. This just doesn't feel good. Nice you know, day, Morin. So, I can't stand out in the open and fight it because I'll take damage. This this is the most times I've done a boss fight in this game so far, for sure, by far. Probably by at least twice.
who dodge. There's not enough room on the stage for me to get out of the way of the attacks. Please remember, safety at work is our highest priority and should be yours. No joke, if I wasn't on stream, this would be the time where I look up a YouTube video of someone else doing this fight so I could see what they're doing that I'm not. Because right now this just is cheap. I can't even see what is happening here. I couldn't see what was attacking me. I couldn't see where I was. I don't, I don't understand how this passed QA. Because yes, it's doable, but it's- Be it's careful stupid. out there. It's cheap. It's, hey, we're gonna completely obfuscate like, what you can see and make everything more difficult. If, if, if I remain locked in, then the camera is constantly rotating around my character. If I don't lock on, then I can't hit the elbow of the machine, which is the only consistent way I can do damage without taking damage. And if the camera's at one angle, then I can't see because all of the arms are attacking and completely obscuring what I can see.
something. I got wrong numbers. Okay, I feel kind of good about this one, but that probably means I'm just going to die as soon as I press this button. Okay, what I was just watching showed a guy with way, way more health than I have. I guess I'm doing something wrong. I guess I can take all of this energy shit off because I'm not using any of it. In that Warren. little tiny video I just looked up, okay. I just saw that um, there's some spots you can stand in that last area that uh, that allow you to avoid some hits. So, see how that does.
Dear God. another staff. Yeah, that's better. That's for sure better. All right, let's uh, actually make some progress now, I guess. That's nuts. Oh, there's an item somewhere right here. built in a day. We all know the answers to these questions. But why do people expect the rebuilding of the atmosphere to happen so quickly? After all, it took almost two centuries to make it this way. I know, I know. We're all impatient. With every passing day, with every launch, Project Resolve evolves. Our process of research is ongoing. Manufacturing efficiency, payload distribution, For all. There's the op station. I'm a little worried about going down there, though. Um, There's a guard for the most of the Was Rome built in a day? We all know the answer to these questions. Why do people expect the rebuilding of the atmosphere to happen so quickly? After all, it took almost two centuries to make it this way. I know, I know. 
to see you. Please, God, forgive me. Log 2. Warren? What are you doing down there? Contact me ASAP. Let me help. Have a nice day, Maddie. Warren. My little girl, she, she's gone. I, I don't know what to do. Please, please help me find her. Hey, you all right? What happened? I lost her. I lost my little girl, my sweet baby. Uh, we, we were attacked in the car door and I don't know, so fast I got turned around and now I, I don't know where she is. I'll try to find her, but I need you to calm down. Do you have any idea where she could be? I, I don't know. Uh, maybe my office? We didn't get far. She, she could have run back. Uh, this is the key code, please. Please, Maddie is all I have. Okay. Calm down. Now, what's your name? Alec. My name is Alec. I, I, look, I, I just need to find her. She's all alone. Guess you also have no idea what's going on in this place, right? No. No, I I thought it was just me. That something was wrong with my neural link. I passed out, but then I saw Maddie. She, she was terrified. And the hallways, the labs, all empty. It was like we woke up in a nightmare. I'm sorry, but I have to leave you now. I know, just... Please. Find my little girl. have a knack for ending up where you're not supposed to. How did you get into R&D? That's a restricted area. You need to leave before security shows up. How are you holding up? You alright? I don't know. I wasn't trained for this. Whatever happened has affected the whole network here. It's all linked. Every system is joined to another and another. I'm scared. I'm just hoping someone in management can help us. Okay, I'm on my way. Get out of there as soon as you can. This is really annoying. The fact that it's like vibrating. Be careful out there. It is a huge task. But together, we can do it. Whatever it takes. A new Eden. A utopia for all. We all 
know the answers to these questions. Why do people expect the rebuilding of the atmosphere to happen so quickly? Right After all, it took almost two centuries to make it this way. I know, I know. We're all in pain. With every pass today, with every launch, Project Resolve evolves. Nope. That didn't work. Oh, I never dropped off my crap. Nice. Please remember, safety at work is our highest priority and should be yours. Was Rome built in a day? We all know the answer to these questions. So why do people expect the rebuilding of the atmosphere to happen so quickly? After all, it took almost two centuries to get this one. So, um, a cool byproduct of this one is, um, well, not a byproduct, but a design choice by the developers is that when you get to a bonfire, you can bank all of the scrap you have. So you don't have to worry about Do you require assistance, Warren? So, here, bank all this. For your fellow workers, they look out for you. Labor day and night to improve and build upon the foundation. Jonah Gutenberg's original vision. No one has ever attempted what we're trying to do. New discoveries and methods allow us to push the very boundaries of science. Good to see you. Assistance, Warren.
Be careful out there. Sorry if I'm getting we will right, build guys, a new a Eden. Burnout. A utopia? Woke up not feeling too well this morning. And then a bunch of medicine. And didn't really help. So. Have a nice day, Warren. Does a garden bloom overnight? Is Rome built in a day? We all know the answers to these questions. Why do people expect the rebuilding of the atmosphere to happen so quickly? After all, it took almost two centuries to make it this way. I know, I know. We're all impatient. But every day. say I'm surprised management was able to send someone over for the inspection, given the, um, circumstances. Well, anyway, I'm Dr. Dean Barrett, project lead on Utopia, head of R&D. <laughs> Apologies, of course you know all that. So, let's get straight down to business then. We'd hate to waste your time now, wouldn't we? Please, take a look around. You'll find everything's in order. I'll just prepare everything for our little chat.
Can't with good conscience continue. We need more time. But they say we always say that. Mainly because it's true. Utopia is a better solution in the long run. It doesn't have the side effects of resolve. Well, not exactly true. It has one large cataclysmic side effect. But instead of taking years, it's immediate. There's no stopping them though. Those people, those poor, poor people. We're meant to help them, right? That's our job. Otherwise, what's the point?
I'm gonna go back. Got a lot of stuff, a lot of scrap. Hello.
So I can, um, I can actually sit down here and just fight these dudes over and over and over again. Get a whole bunch of scrap and also get a whole bunch of uh, materials. Happy to help. Oh, that's Every day your work benefits the future of mankind, bringing us one step closer to our goal. It is a huge task, yeah. but together we can do it. Whatever it takes. We will build a new Eden, a utopia for all. Cool staff. Okay, so party people, um, I mean, I could just stream this all day. I'm probably gonna keep playing it later. We all know this is this game, and I think it's pretty cool. Aside from the fact that it took me an hour to beat that boss, uh, don't let that get to you. If you like Dark Souls games, this is actually a pretty cool contender. Um, make sure and come back Monday. Adam's going to be playing something. We've got a different person playing a different game all week. Um, they're mostly playing later than I do, like 5 and after. Uh, make sure to go to GamersAltWeekly.com to check out all the new stuff we got there. And uh, definitely follow if you don't already. So I hope you all have a wonderful Memorial Day weekend. I think it's also uh, a holiday in the UK uh, this weekend. So yeah, everyone have a great time. Stay safe and uh, enjoy life. See ya. Yeah.